Hey everybody, my name is Kids Coding and welcome back to day one of 7 Days of Bootstrap. Today is going to be the most simple lesson because it's day one and it's essentially going to be about something called Bootstrap Jumbotron. So what a Jumbotron is, is that it's just a big gray box that calls for attention. That's just it. Just a big gray box that calls for attention. It's like a stop sign or a warning sign, something like that, because it just calls for attention. So it's really simple to code Jumbotron. The first thing that we need is that we need our body. After that, we then need our container class. After that, we need our Jumbotron class, which is essentially a div class and then Jumbotron like that. Same way how you do a container. Then what you need to do is that with the indent, with the indentation, you need to add some text in the Jumbotron. So I'm going to say Jumbotron and then um, as a heading because I want it big and bold. And then I'm going to make like a paragraph with some small text explaining what a Jumbotron is. Jumbotron is a big gray box that calls for attention. There we go. So let's go over here and let's save it. And let's reload our page. As you see, it says it, it just it gives a big gray box and um, it has some text. So Bootstrap is just really, really simple to code like that. You don't have to like make the box and then add the text and stuff like that. Like you have to do an HTML CSS. Jumbotron already provides that big gray box and then the text. So it already so Jumbotron just essentially provides that big gray box. If I were to do some text outside the Jumbotron, as you see here, as you see here, it won't be in the Jumbotron. So as long as it's inside here, then it will be in the Jumbotron. If it's not inside, then it'll just come outside, like here. So if I put something inside, like this, like that. So let's save it and let's go over here and let's reload. As you see, now it's in the box. So yeah, if it's inside the um, Jumbotron class, then it will be put here. So like, all these will be included in the Jumbotron gray box. But this one isn't because it's outside. I hope that makes sense. So then we can do something a little bit different because as you see right here, the Jumbotron is a fixed width Jumbotron because a container is something that's fixed width. So if we wanted to make it full width, we need to do something called Jumbotron Fluid. Like this. Put it inside and with Jumbotron, do not get rid of the original Jumbotron. We need both. So as you see right here, um, it says, okay, so the thing that I didn't mention is that you have to flip it. That is my bad. Um, so whenever it comes, whenever you're doing a Jumbotron fluid, you need to flip them. So, um, Jumbotron and then Jumbotron fluid. So if you flip it like this, then it should work. And then it should work. So, um... What is it? And then we need the container class. Like that. Now, from the result here, you'll see that it's now a full width container. And it's not fixed with like the ends cut off. And by the way, since it's bootstrapped, it's going to be responsive. So, um, yeah. So that's pretty much what a bootstrap Jumbotron is. It's a really, really short lesson. And yeah, you can even go right here. You can add it as a container fluid. What that's essentially going to do is that that is... One second. What that's going to do is that that's just going to essentially shift the text if you add a container fluid. But that's pretty much what Bootstrap Jumbotrons are. It's a really, really short video. It's the first day of the seven days of Bootstrap. But I hope you learned something new. Just to recap, a Jumbotron is just a big gray box that calls for attention. Whatever text you put in the Jumbotron is what's going to be on the in the group. big gray box. Whatever's outside will appear down here. And then you can add a class called the Jumbotron Fluid class in the Jumbotron that will essentially give it its full width and will stretch across the entire viewport shown right here. You can even add a container fluid to um, shift the text a little bit to the left. 
So that just summarized everything I mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to go down there and hit the subscribe button and turn on those bells so that you don't miss out on the other six days of Bootstrap. And that's pretty much it. If you're interested, be sure to follow my socials. Um, follow my Insta, link's in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.